Hi everyone and welcome once again to NJPW Extra. I'm Chris Charlton here in the NJPW Event Center where we're getting ready for Wednesday's final of World Tag League and Best of the Super Juniors from Ryogoku Sumo Hall. Big tournament update to come as well as the highlights from Strong and a great featured match as Bullet Club's young gun Hikaleo faces the LA Dojo's young lion Kevin Knight. But first, let's take a look at what's happening around the world in NJPW this week. Starting in America where NJPW Strong this week was topped and tailed by first time ever singles matches that couldn't be any more different in approach. It all started with the returning Gabriel Kidd taking on Jonathan Gresham in a scientific encounter that could well be chosen amongst the very best of 2021 in NJPW Strong or even around the world. The Code of Honor followed. This was a sportsman-like contest for the most part, but tempers began to fray the further the match went down. After a series of takedowns frustrated Gresham, an accidental eye poke would draw the ire of Gabriel Kidd. And as intensity built, there was a series of forearm shivers before Gresham heavily went after Kidd's arm. That work on the arm would pay off in the end as there wasn't enough strength for Gabriel Kidd to lift a double underhook, and after a series of pins, a ground head scissors from Gresham picked up the win. No sportsmanship at all when it comes to the LA Dojo and the United Empire, and their issues continued this week with a six-man tag. After a brawling start, TJP was singled out by the LA Dojo side, while Ren Narita and Will Ospreay picked up from Battle in the Valley before Jeff Cobb's power came through. Connors would show his own strength with a massive pounce to Osprey, but while the self-proclaimed Real World's champion Will Osprey fought back with a massive strike, when TJP went for a face wash, he was nailed with a power slam and a spear. In a throwback to Carl Fredericks early days before NJPW Strong, he was alone with Jeff Cobb at the end of the match, but his attempt at the MD was denied, and as Connor's knee fell away from under him, a tour of the islands sealed the deal. But the United TGP Empire were not done with Clark Connors after the bell. After scientific wrestling in our opener, Brody King and Tomohiro Ishii was all about the violence. Both trading blows from the bell as Ishii kept moving forward and Brody King tried to kill that momentum. Ishii fought through obvious pain to suplex Brody, who responded with a lariat and a cannonball and a pile driver for two. As Brody King kept on pressuring the never openweight champion, he scored with a black hole slam and a Chris Dickinson style DVD. But when he wanted the Gonzo bomb, he was countered with a sliding lariat and a massive vertical drop brainbuster to give the Stone Pitbull victory. But in Japan, all eyes are on Ryogoku Sumo Hall and the World Tag League and Best of the Super Junior Finals live and in English on njpwworld.com this Wednesday night. You can catch the final nights of league action on demand in English right now on NJPW World at the end of a deeply competitive pair of leagues with a lot of juniors and a lot of teams all competing. In Best of the Super Juniors shows, early run turned into late stage collapse while Yo's desperate 0-4 state at the start of the tournament turned into a string of successes. El Fantasma was still building momentum while Hiromu Takahashi and El Desperado were definitely in the mix, leading to a hectic scene this past weekend. And World Tag League was just as competitive. Tetsuya Naito and Sonada, dangerous techers, Hiroki Goto and Yoshihashi, the Gorillas of Destiny, Great Okan and Aaron Hanare, and the resurging House of Torture, evil Nujiro Takahashi, all were very much in the mix this week. But it's all going to come down to the finals and the best tag team and the best junior heavyweight being settled in a legendary venue. And that's not all as news broke that Katsuyori Shibata, the wrestler himself, will be in attendance in Sumo Hall and that he will be delivering an important message to all the fans of New Japan Pro Wrestling. What will he have to say? Find out live and in English on NJPW World December the 15th. Make sure that you are a part of Best of the Super Juniors and World Tag League. The finals this Wednesday, December the 15th in Ryogoku Sumo Hall. Live and in English, wherever you are 
be there on the King of Sports Streaming and JPWWorld.com. It'll be our last live English broadcast this year, but there's plenty to come in 2022, all starting with Wrestle Kingdom 16 in the Tokyo Dome, live and in English on NJPW World. And you can bet that the seeds will be planted later this week, so stay tuned. And stay tuned for NJPW in America in 2022. It all starts January the 15th, Seattle's Washington, all sure to be a sellout. There's only a small handful of tickets left, so make sure that you're a part of the action wherever you are around the world as we head into our 50th anniversary year. But before all that, let's take you to our featured match for this week. It's from Philadelphia. It's Hikaleo versus Kevin Knight. The insane athletic ability of the LA Dojo's young lion against the raw power of Bullet Club's young gun. It's going to be a big one. Let's head to ringside where Matt Raywalt and Alex Kozlov are ready to call the action. Well, here we go with another installment of New Japan Strong Extra coming to you exclusively on YouTube. Man, I'm so excited to be here. We're starting off with Kevin Knight as hungry as ever. Young Lion looking to prove himself. We are here in the hallowed halls of the 2300 Arena, formerly known as the ECW Arena. A great place to make a name for yourself. No doubt about it. But he's got quite a test in front of him. The a Young Gun. A tall task, you might say. A very tall task. Six foot eight, 264 pounds. This man, this monster, is capable of putting a lot of damage on his opponents. The terrible Tongan himself, Hikaleo, somebody who I have had a chance to step toe to toe with in the ring, and I can tell you firsthand, everything you've heard is true. And you're still recovering and from I, it. I mean, well, I mean, I'm here. I'm looking That's why good. You're here. I'm feeling all right. I'm feeling good. I'm, I'm, I am a you're professional athlete, Alex. But well, I, had, I did have to take proper recovery techniques, you know, and luckily I had I had my buddy Juice Robinson who, who had my back when he tried to take a couple liberties with me. And speaking of which, the two of them not too long ago had a harrowing match. Nice merch. I'm looking to buy. We gotta get on this good side. <laughs> of course, uh, yes, you need that. But the match I'm referring to, of course, was him and Juice Robinson did have a Texas bull rope match back at Autumn Attack. We were there for that. A very, very intense matchup that saw Juice eventually take the big man down. He did not submit, he was not pinned, but he eventually straight up passed out from having that bull rope wrapped around his neck. I'll be honest with you, I've never seen that side of Juice. I didn't know he was capable of such a thing. It, w it was definitely not what you expected from the flamboyant one, but it was very, very impressive. The intensity from both athletes coming out in Texas in full form. But now we are here in Philadelphia City of brotherly love, and I have a feeling that no brotherly oh. love will be shown in any of the contests that you, we'll see here. You can see how Kevin and I tried to go for a single leg, and Hikuleo was ready to boot his face off. A fan favorite here in Philly. Well, I mean, if there's anything we've learned in wrestling history, oh. this Philadelphia crowd here is a little contrarian, and Kevin Knight not taking too kindly to the attitude here in Philly. Now, here's what's interesting. I mean, Hikaleo is obviously a big, big man, but you Whoa. know you know how high Kevin Knight can jump. He can reach. He can reach oh. the head of Hikaleo, and he's showing that he's not afraid here. That's true, but I don't know if I'd go to lock up if I'm Kevin Knight with someone like Hikaleo. You gotta go oh. for those big athletic moves, just like you said, Alex. But can he get that infamous drop kick all the way to the top? I believe he can, but Hikaleo's looking confident. 
And who could blame him? He's had such a run, a fast rising star here in New Japan, also making his presence known in places like AEW, places like Impact Wrestling. He's creating a tear all over the world. Oh, the Kevin, Kevin Knight is not intimidated. Showing some fire and a fearless attitude. And kudos to him. Oh, God. You know what? I'd like to see some more of that, but I'd like to be sitting here with you as a watcher. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know what? One of the few times I agree with you on that. Happy to be on this side of the rail. And oh, my goodness, the crowd here in Philly gluttons for watching punishment. They're ruthless. But Kevin Knight able to get his way out of that power slam -like oh, position. Oh, look my. at that. He Just went for a drop kick. Swiped out of midair. Nicola had him scouted. Swiped him in the air. And oh, oh, my God. Oh. And just, I was getting that like a lawn dart, but even more than a lawn dart, just tossing him like a pebble into the corner there. And now adding a little bit of insult to injury is Hikaleo. The youngest brother of Gorillas of Destiny showing so much potential. I mean, I see this man being a world Ooh. champion in the years to come, no doubt about it. I mean, he's, you said it, he's got the bloodline, he's got all the tools. Oh, more and more experience every day. Into the cover goes Hikaleo, two count, and no, says Kevin Knight. Kevin Knight, of course, uh, under the direction and guidance of Shibata, training every day in the LA Dojo. And these guys, these young lions under Shibata, they show no fear. They're, they're putting in the work. And they're all about heart. And that's it. Staying in the fight oh, just like God. that, fighting back no matter what the odds are. Oh, my goodness. Even when you get your soul knocked out of your body by a seven-foot chop. And that's the thing about Hikaleos. He will get the job done by any means necessary. He does not really respect authority. He is his own As authority. As we've seen, yes. But Kevin Knight's going to make Hikaleo Ooh, respect God. his effort in one way or another as well. I mean, he could be not right now. You know, little bit, I mean, you could barely call that a cover. That was more about the disrespect than it was about trying to win the match right there. Now, the Tongan Terror with a big stalling suplex. That's a long way down oh, to go if you're Kevin Knight. And oh, down and goes. God. And there's Hikaleo casually into the cover here, but Kevin Knight once again not giving in. I'm not going to lie. I think that when he covered him so nonchalantly, I think he truly believed that he had him right there. You know, after a suplex like that, going seven feet down. And that's the thing. I mean, Hikaleo, I talked about it earlier, is one of the fastest rising stars coming out of New Japan Pro Wrestling, making a name for himself. But do you think he's risen so fast that he's now starting to border on arrogance? Well, he's confident in himself, no doubt about it. I mean, he's got all the skills. And a crowd like this feeding oh! into that, but no! Kevin Knight sees it coming, much to the chagrin of the rabid crowd here in Philadelphia, now unloading on Hikaleo in the corner who swats him away like a fly. Well, I'll tell you what, if Kevin Knight can land that drop kick, he'll get the support of the crowd. There it, there is! it is! That's one, but the but big man still on his feet. Go! Oh! And finally, that incredible, impressive drop kick that we know so well from Kevin Knight takes the big man down, and he sets him up for what oh, could be a little bit of a comeback that. here. But look at that, he's got the Boom. big man down right now. Into the cover goes Kevin Knight. This is the first time he has him on the floor. Oh, big splash from Kevin Knight into the cover once again. But no, Hikaleo kicks out at two. Pushing all the wind out of the lungs of Hikaleo with that splash. The big man is down, and this is the advantage for uh, Kevin a, Knight here. What a turnaround here for the young lion going for that Boston Crab. But that's a lot of tree trunk to turn over if you're Kevin Knight. And there's the power of Hikaleo turning it around. And he's up on his feet. My God, into the cover goes Hikaleo, power slam, but no, what? Kevin Knight somehow, some way stays in this one. But Hikaleo, not happy about that. Knight still showing some fight. As he takes off, hitting the ropes. 
And there it is. Could be setting up for it. And it is. Tongue the driller. You got it. The Tongan driver right in the middle of the ring. And that's it for Kevin Knight. An impressive showing, the willingness to keep fighting from Kevin Knight, but there was just no stopping Hikaleo tonight. Every time I see him step into that ring, I'm just more and more impressed how just how good he is. It's such a so young in his career. And that's just it, Alex. I mean, he's come so far and done so much in his young career. And every time he steps, uh, not not through those ropes, over those ropes, like we just saw, he gets better and better. Throw him up, throw him up, man. You, Show you some respect. Show some want. respect. 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 Come on. Man. Oh, I forgot. I forgot, Matt. You guys. There's, there's some history yeah. there. He still, hurt you. He still, hurt you. Still some some hurt feelings and hurt bones. So let's put it that way. But. So much to be impressed by Hikaleo. The question is, who stops him? Who stops the young man on a tear like this? What a match and what a way to round up this week's edition of NJPW Extra. Make sure you subscribe and make sure you catch us next week as we're going to have a lot to talk about as it relates to Wrestle Kingdom 16. And we're going to have a fantastic six-man tag team contest. The Stray Dog Army of Barrett Brown, Mysterioso, and Bateman will be taking on Brody King, Carl Fredericks, and the DKC in action. That's to come next week. We'll see you next time. Until then, gokigenyo, sayonara.